All right, guys. So what I wanted to do right here is show you from a newbie's perspective um, how quickly and out of control crawler mods can get. All right, so I got into this hobby back in March of this year, so a little bit over half a year, seven months. Okay, my very first vehicle was these Axial uh, STX 10.3 Jeep Wrangler. Okay, and then I got the trail honcho about a month after that or two months and then just recently the Ford Bronco so in seven months span three vehicles all right so right here this is my word file that I keep track and don't judge I normally keep track of my stuff in Excel but I may have been a little stoned when I created my very first one so um, it was on Word, so I just kept everything in Word. All right, this is the Axial SEX Jeep Wrangler GLU. This is the mods tracking, tracking list. All right, so the pricing on the left, the mod itself on the right, including the battery. So these are ready to run vehicles, so no radio in here. So the pricing that you see here is tax included. So. What you see here, right, just the mods alone, 20 mods, $773.60. The vehicle was $500, so it's $1,273.60 plus tax on its vehicle. So we're talking about right around $1,300, a little bit over th north of $1,300 for the Jeep. Okay. And then just a couple months later, I got the Trail Honcho. The trail honcho is supposed to meant to be a budget vehicle so uh, 15 mods on here including battery still a ready to run package four hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty nine cents in upgrades okay uh, the vehicle is cheap so 329.99 plus tax okay so we're you know 796.68 Plus the tax on the vehicle, we're talking about just a little bit over north of 800. All right. And last but not least, we're looking at the Bronco. As you'll see, the Bronco is actually 870, and, and here's why. Okay, so eight mods on this one, 291 dollars and seven cents, plus the cost of the vehicle, which is 579. It's the most most expensive ready to run rig I have so far. So. 87007 plus tax on the vehicle. And so just a little bit north of 900 on this one. And it's only got eight mods, including battery. Yeah, so just the mods alone, you know, talking about tires, V locks, um, extender, the tire inserts or the foam inserts, shocks, um, little aesthetic stuff. We're talking about $300 already. So it runs quick and it gets up there really quick um, there's tires and the B locks are the ones that can get you the quickest and the tires $75 for you know set of four I mean don't get me wrong these it's probably if you if you don't want to break the bank I'll probably say if you're going to make one mod do your tires those are the one mod probably that's going to get you the the biggest improvement of your vehicle the quickest this one doesn't even have a servo yet, so uh, it's going to be up in around three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars with the servo once that servo goes out. So and this is just to get you an idea how quickly things can go, you know. So um, north, uh, just be mindful. I would definitely be doing a tracking list of like this. Oh, oops, I missed the pricing on this one. I got to change that over here in a second here. Um, but I would definitely be keeping a track. Excel's better for this, obviously. Um, like I said, I was probably stoned when I created this to begin with. And um, the second and third tracking sheet was just followed in suit. Okay. Um, but I mean, come on. 40, 40, 15, 25, 90. So just little things like this adds up quickly. So, um, best advice to use when you are planning to do a mod for your vehicles um, start a tracking sheet so you can keep track of how much you're spending on your vehicle and uh, you can control that budget a little bit better so with this vehicle I'm going to be attaching a performance run 
on each of the segments in the back, the tight rope, each little obstacle in the back. I have gate markers me um, set up in the yard. So I wanted to show you the performance of how each vehicle does in each one of these sections. Um, and you see the price that, you know, the amount of money that's been dropped into each one of these vehicles. So you kind of will have an idea of the performance value and what to go if you want to get into this, where to spend your money, okay? So uh, recommendation, if you only have about $100 you want to spend extra mods, just go with your tires. Um, you know, those are going to be your biggest 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 improvements anything else your choice right um but right here on this these sheets right here it gives you an idea of how quickly price wise i got 1273 796.68 and then 870.07 yeah. yeah i'm not rich guys um i'm just i have wife and kids so i can have a little bit more money to spend on myself but in no means am i rich um, but yeah, once I added this up, I was like, holy shit, I spent that much on my car. Um, the other two, you kind of know what I'm doing. I kind of know what I was doing, so I had a budget set for those cars. But this one right here got me. I was quick when I did this sheet. By the time I did this, I was already about, I don't know, 18 mods in. So it was too late. So uh, hopefully this video will help you guys.